Since 1997, the VH1 Save the Music Foundation has successfully restored and sustained instrumental music programs in 1,400 public schools in 80 communities across the country. Hello to Mariah, John, and a former prez celebrating kids and music. You put an instrument in someone's hands and they become someone different. It's the closest thing to magic. John was among the stars celebrating the 10th anniversary of the VH1 Save the Music Foundation, which restores music education programs throughout the U.S. VH1 Save the Music Foundation came to Susan Blonde, Inc. with the goal of heightening its public profile and raising awareness of its 10th anniversary gala in Lincoln Center in New York City. In the months leading up to the gala, Susan Blonde, Inc. launched an incremental rollout of announcements to maintain consistent exposure and build momentum leading up to the event. From the first media advisory about John Mayer's performance to Mariah Carey and the Clintons being honored, every announcement became its own news story. Over the last 10 years, this program has raised something like $40 million, impacted the lives of about a million children. Did you ever dare to dream that it would get that big when you started it? You know, it actually started in one school here in New York, in Brooklyn, and then we took it to New York City, then we took it across the country, and we did it because music actually wires a child's brain. No one ever knew that. They just thought it was a frill. But kids who study music do better in math, science, reading. Susan Blonde, Inc. also developed regional media campaigns in various markets throughout the country from which students were selected to perform on stage at the gala with Roger Waters of Pink Floyd, John Bon Jovi, and John Mayer, a moment the aspiring musicians will always remember. The 10th anniversary gala was a sold-out success, raising $2 million for VH1 Save the Music Foundation. Through Susan Blonde, Inc.'s tactical media program, VH1 Save the Music Foundation has thus far seen placements in national and regional print, television, and online outlets that have reached millions of readers and viewers who now have a greater understanding of the Foundation's efforts. Paul Cawthron, Executive Director and Vice President of the VH1 Save the Music Foundation, praised the team at Susan Blonde, Inc. as being fantastic partners. They have worked tirelessly to broaden the national prominence of the VH1 Save the Music Foundation. Their input, creativity, and diligence has resulted in an elevated platform from which to launch new initiatives and help thousands of additional children across the country.